Oh, God, this next segment. Oh, my gosh. Bro. This is my favorite thing on the show. Bro. <laughs> Are you guys aware? I was not until it was done. I knew I recognized yes. the name, and when I looked it up, I was like, oh, my God. God. Yes. We, everyone, we, the three of us, watched Jimmy Snooker versus Paul Van Dale. Paul Van Dale. Does that ring a bell to any of you out there? Paul it, Van Dale? It rang a bell for me. I could not place it. I couldn't remember where he was from. Oh, I knew immediately. I knew immediately. And, man, that guy started working, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know how doing? to do I don't know how to review this match because I don't like to be an asshole. What? But there's no way to review this match without flat out saying that this fucking guy was horrible. Yeah. God bless him. He may be the worst guy that I have ever seen step between the ropes on Monday Night Raw. Am I wrong? No. Because, Am listen, I in I, the minority here? I worked with a piece of naughty hickory that was more pliable than this man. Naughty Today. Hickory, you God say. damn. So, yes. Uh, WWF rarely used... I mean, we would watch those Jim Crockett shows, and half the jobbers looked like they had never trained before. <laughs> they were told, here's 50 bucks and a pair of boots, get in the ring. Uh, Hawk's going to kill you. Just die. Uh, WWF used Barry Horowitz and Iron Mike Sharp and Steve Gatewolf and these guys, uh, Scott Casey, and they were trained wrestlers. And if they had to do a good match... They could do a good match, but they were sent out there to, to job most of the time. Paul Van Dale, his offense sucked. <laughs> his selling sucked. He can't run the ropes. He can't take a bump. That's pretty much all the wrestling is, everyone. God this, bless the, four the things guy. He, can do. He, 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 he was over four. Do anything. Nothing. And I'm watching this match and. God damn, Jimmy Snook is old and you know he way 50 past years his old prime. Here. He's like fifty years old and and a lot of miles on this bloke. Yep. And man, he's in there and just, I mean, <laughs> God, I'm sure it was working nothing. ring rings yeah. around this guy. Yeah. And they and the funny thing is, you know, they did spots. They I actually mean, did spots in this match. I suppose you could call They had like a, a leapfrog and a drop down into a chop. They actually ran fucking spots in this match, which I couldn't believe. And the funny thing is, Paul Van Dale didn't screw up any of the spots. No. They just, everything he did looked horrible. Yeah. Horrible. It was weird because like, it was really weird because I've seen guys where you see them in the ring and it looks like they have absolutely no idea what they're supposed to be doing. They're just completely, totally, and we saw some of these jobbers in Crockett. Lost, okay? Paul Van Dale actually looked like he knew, like his brain knew what he was supposed to do. But he couldn't do a He was like a Vinny, but way, 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 way worse. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take that. I will take. Oh, that. bro, bro, you, you. Worked. No, I was. I was actually. Oh I my god! This. Not I even. Much... I, 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 I feel bad to even bring your name up. <laughs> was I, I'm pretty sure. That's that... the cruelest thing I've ever said to you, Vinny. <laughs> I compared sure. you to Paul Van Dale. I'm well, yeah, sorry. but better than. <laughs> Greater than Paul Van Dale. I am pretty sure he was worse than Giant Gonzalez. And not seven foot six to make up for it. Hmm. So, I'm sure he's a nice guy. God bless the guy. Yeah, but uh, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. So while this is going on, maybe he had a particularly bad day. Is it, that possible? Uh, yes. Wow. We all have bad. Well, days. I mean, he did have a really horribly bad day. But I mean, maybe like it is, might have been unique. Maybe maybe he was normally much better. Yeah, maybe his other days were better than this. So while this is going on, Bobby Heenan, perhaps to distract himself from the horror show going on in the ring, uh, takes out a telephone, and he calls Crush. And it's a... Crush is conveniently there to answer the phone, and Heenan asks why he's not in the Battle Royal. And Crush says, well, the honest truth is, I wasn't invited, and I'd like to know what's going on. And Heenan, of course, is there to stir the pot. Well, I can't help but know that Randy Savage is in the Battle Royal. And Crush says, oh, that's just typical. And he goes on a rant about politics. And Savage finally snaps. That's a damn lie, brother. I've been trying to call you. Come on, talk to me. So eventually Crush hangs up again. 
Savage is trying to defend himself, saying, listen, yeah, I'm in the battle royal and he's not. I'm Crush's friend. I'm not his agent. I'm not his manager. So eventually, and I do mean eventually, it took a long time to get there. Snooka wins with the Superfly Splash, and uh, Paul Van Dale does a full Undertaker sit-up to take the splash. <laughs> <laughs> my oh, favorite man. Thing, God bless My him. favorite thing he did was he had actually was getting some offense. and he Horrible offense. He delivered a axe handle, but he jumped like he was doing oh, an, inverted, an <laughs> inverted frog splash. Yes. His knees... <laughs> came up to his God. chest yes. and he crashed down. <laughs> not, at the, not, a, not at the top rope, not at the middle turnbuckle. He was standing in the mat. Yes. He jumped up like a frog and came down at an accent on the guy. <laughs> this was the jobbiest jobber that ever jobbed. So, I watched this. I survived this, I should say. <laughs> I watched it twice. I, I was crying. <laughs> I can't blame you. That's, that's a fair way to look at it. And it's okay. I know I know this name. Who was this person? I looked it up. I was like, was, was he involved in a lawsuit or a backstage incident? No, no, no. Paul Van Dale, and I'm sure some of you already know who we're talking about, but Paul Van Dale is, in fact, Carmella's dad. Yeah. She is so much better than him. Miles. <laughs> miles. <laughs> miles and miles and miles and miles. He didn't train her. That's for sure. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> You know, Tom, it was abundantly clear this week that I just don't get enough respect. Excuse me? I feel I deserve a little bit of credit for your your recent success. You want to take credit for my victory in the G1 Climax? You can fuck off. Why don't you put your money where your little mouth is and get in the ring with me? No. If you, if you really want to take credit for this shit. There's a tweet from August 3rd. Who wants to make it happen? I'll team with Debbie Malenko. Why don't you call up Billy Starks and why don't you step in the ring against me and her, huh? I'll text yeah, her right. right now. I'll be in Chicago all out weekend. How about that? I'll call up Mikey. The black label? Yeah. Debbie, are you available all out? weekend look at those arms brian's not even in ring shape for this show me yours tom huh look at this go back and forth huh go back jared put yours up go back 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 oh yeah who's not in ring shape now motherfucker she can't do it she can't do it she can't do it this is like when we grappled brian and you clearly tapped oh fuck off I... what a dick oh so now now you're getting fired up well, Fuck, dude. You know, we can settle God. this. You know, we can settle this. You meet me in Chicago. Buddy. I'm I'm in. You've agreed. Yeah, I've agreed because you don't have Basically. a fucking partner. I will beat dude. your ass silly. <laughs> yeah. I'm texting him right now. Mikey, by the way, okay. Yes, all caps. I'm not the only killer that you're going to be in there with, Brian. Killer Kelly. See you in Chicago. Although I, I was just alerted that the show is at 11 o'clock p.m., so I, I may have to pull out. That's past my bedtime. So if you're going all out weekend, Black Label Pro, Friday, September 2nd. I can't wait to beat your ass. Not going to happen. It's been years in the making.